I tatted someone. I remember I was tatting this guy. Probably the only one that fainted on me. Really? When I worked in shops, fainting was common. Like once a week or something. I mean, people were dropping out. And, and the first time I was in a shop and someone dropped out, I was freaking out. I was like, oh, shit. Like, what do we do? You know, yeah. what's up? What are we, what are, and, and everyone is chilling. Yeah. They're just like, oh, go get some water. He's just waiting. I yeah. was like, what the, what's going on, man? <laughs> and he looked at me like, you never had anyone faint? Yeah. I was like, no. Like, why would someone faint? Right. But right, right. I guess it is common. But I was tanning someone, and he was a big dude. He was like 6'1", 6 6'2". 6 mm -hmm. I, I don't remember. But um, he was getting <laughs> he was getting Chinese characters on his forearm, <laughs> too. What was he getting? And it said, like, strength and courage or something. Oh, gosh, yeah. And I started tatting him, and, man, you know, that's when I realized I could tell. You could really tell. This was a long time ago, though. But you can really tell when you're tanning someone um, – that they're in pain without them squirming or saying anything, I could tell by his skin. Like it started beating, like it started sweating. And then there was trembling, like a slight, real yeah, slight, slight, yeah, yeah. where I kind of stopped. I was 20 seconds in the tent. I was just lining it. And then and then I stopped and I looked at him and he was like, he, he was just kind of ready to go. And I was like, are you okay? Like yeah, I yeah. never experienced this at all. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, it's weird. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was like 15 years ago. I don't know. So so I'm like, okay. So I start tatting again. And, okay, so this was back when I was tatting at home, and you should never do that. But so I was, I was tatting, and, and he just went, boom. And he just dropped on the table. Like, I was tatting him, yeah. and he just dropped. And I jumped up, and I was like <laughs> – and it was my dad's friend, actually. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe he's watching. With a homemade tattoo <laughs> machine. I shouldn't. I shouldn't say his name or nothing, but um, but <laughs> my dad's like, oh, he's got to eat. <laughs> he was on the table. He was like knocked out. And I'm like, just dad, like, I think he's asleep. Do do? I don't think he's gonna. Man, eat I'm liable for this or something. <laughs> and uh, so you know the crazy thing is though that when he when he popped up, and this is what happens when they when they come to, it's like they miss that time. I guess when you get knocked out fighting too. I mean, when you get knocked out anytime. Yeah. I just forget everything. That what happened. And he like, just woke up and he looked at me like, "What are you doing?" Like, <laughs> like I, like I was tatting him, and then I just stopped and stood up and looked at him or something. Yeah. He just looked at me. What are you doing? I was like, "Dude, you just passed out." Yeah. What so did you say? No, I didn't. He was like, "What? <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh man!" And then my dad gave him a plate of food. Yeah. So <laughs> we have to take off my gloves. Wait till he's eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I guess it's common. <laughs> so, so I think, I think it's different. You know the. Uh, it's not I've had people get like nauseous on me like they felt oh, right. like I was tattooing as uh, it was a girl her first tattoo was like some kanji on the back of her her neck and um, maybe like yeah like five ten minutes in she's like stop I was like are you okay she's like I have to throw up and then oh. she goes to the bathroom she throws up she comes back and, and then we finish it she, she was fine but I was like damn it, was, it hurt that bad huh but I guess it's one of those areas too it's kind of weird. I mean, you know, we're not we're not medics. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard when people come up with questions too. They're like, "Oh, you know, I have this ailment, you mm -hmm. know, it's some weird disease or something." And I'm like, "Have you talked to your doctor?" Yeah. <laughs> you know? what's, I don't know. what's your doctor saying like, about it? They're like, "Can I get a tattoo?" I'm like, I, uh, "So I'm on Google and I'm like, I, I you could have did this. I don't know. You know, like, what's yeah, going yeah, on? Yeah, 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 yeah. What the hell, man? <laughs> it's really crazy. But then, or or some people put, you know, medication. You're supposed to. Yeah. You got to know if it's, like, thinning blood or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, some of it, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know what you have, man. Please see the doctor first. Yeah. I don't know. It's really weird. Thanks for joining. If you guys have any questions or want to talk about any topics, then send us a message. You can comment, and we will see you next week, Tuesday. Thanks for joining us.